Hi, I'm Craig, and today on the Spec Show, we're going to talk about cutting concrete with our concrete uh, circular saws. Today we're talking about cutting concrete with our concrete uh, circular saws. Uh, the, the saw industry is going to refer to these as cutoff machines. Uh, the fire service is just going to refer to them mostly as uh, circular saws. We're using 14-inch uh, diamond segmented cutting wheels for all of our cutting operations here at the school. Obviously, uh, when, you, when you go to purchase wheels out in the market, you can find wet blades that require the use of water at all times. You can find dry blades that don't require the use of water, or you can find wet, wet dry blades. Uh, we prefer the use, obviously, in, in USAR of, of water. Helps keep the dust down. Also helps us somewhat in the grinding process of, of grinding away the concrete. When we're operating the, the circular saws, there's a couple of things that we want to try and uh, focus on to be a, a good operator and a, and a safe operator, and a lot of it is, is body positioning. So we want to make sure that we maintain our feet shoulder width apart, that we're on good stable footing. Obviously that can always be hard to come by on a, on a collapse scene, so it's always important to have some spotters working with this as well, somebody that can have our back while we're focused on cutting concrete. Uh, but besides from that, we want to make sure that we maintain good control of the saw. We constantly have a, a firm grip on the saw and we're always utilizing the forward handle grip. Uh, we want to make sure that we maintain good contact with that with our thumb wrapped around the forward handle grip. And if we can at all make it possible is that we want to keep our forward hand or our forward arm that's on that hand grip uh, locked and as rigid as much as possible. You can experience kickback with a circular saw when you're cutting concrete. Uh, it is not as typically as violent as what we see when we're operating chainsaws, but it is still a possibility. So maintaining that good body positioning, feet shoulder width apart, and good control of the saw at all times uh, helps keep this to be a safe operation. When we're cutting concrete with our circular saws, we want to make sure that we main full PPE at all times. Obviously that means glasses, gloves, helmets, and try to maintain coverage with long sleeves. Uh, but beyond that, we have uh, a lot of loud noise that we're dealing with. Uh, EarPro becomes very critical in this kind of operation. EarPro can range everything from just disposable earplugs that we can take in and out throughout the day, all the way up to a higher level of protection with some ear uh, muffs. Beyond that, respiratory protection is a concern when we're cutting concrete as well. And we want to make sure that we protect ourselves from the, the concrete dust that's coming out of our cut. We are keeping the dust down usually by the use of water, but we still have those materials that get aerosolized in the air with the, the mist of water and, and concrete dust combined, and that's not good for you either. We want to try and at least start off at the basic level of an N95 particulate filter mask, um, and then kind of the next level up from that would be a half-face APR or air purifying respirator uh, to protect ourselves from any of the respiratory issues. For Spec Rescue International, I'm Craig Mignon. Thanks for joining us today. For further information on cutting concrete or any of our USAR classes, contact us at specrescue.com.